Hey everyone, welcome back to the fifth and final phase on this horse trailer mobile bar conversion. This is where I wrap up all of the final details and finally show you the reveal. To start, you definitely want to spend the extra second to go buy a drill bit intended for metal. Drilling into the horse trailer frame was actually pretty freaking hard, but the drill bit intended for metal did make it easier. Here I'm attaching a hook and eye latch that is going to hold the bar countertop up while the trailer is in transit. I put one on the right, one on the left. I'm using wood to metal screws to attach this portion of the hook and eye latch and then just the tiny screws that came with the product to attach it into the bar countertop. I include links to all of the products that I use throughout this build in my blog post and I've got the link for the blog post in my description below. Underneath this display shelf is hollow, so I'm adding two wine racks just using the screws that came with the product. This trailer had a little LED light here before that is only connected to a spliced extension cord, so I replaced it with a sleek farmhouse sconce that I felt looked much cuter and it doesn't interfere with the headspace when you're actually in the trailer. The previous owner took a regular extension cord, spliced one end of it, cut into the hollow horse trailer frame and strung that extension cord through where the wiring sticks out for a light. So the opposite end of this light is literally an extension cord coming out of the storage compartment that plugs into a regular outlet. I added three matte black towel hooks, two under the bar, one to the upper right of the bar, and then ordered a set of towels that have the little loop on them for hanging on these. For this hue, it's just quarter inch plywood ripped into about one inch strips, most painted white, some are stained provincial stain, and I'm attaching using wood to metal screws. I added three 12 inch piano hinges, left, right, and center, attached it to the horse trailer first, then held that cabana door in place and attached the other ends. I've already talked with you guys about what a nightmare it was to try to figure out the gas struts, but since I built a lighter version of the door, it ended up being 15 inch, 45 pound gas struts that worked. Just had to find the right angle, but it worked great. Finally got it. The gas struts hold the cabana door up and the hook and eyelatches hold the countertop. Now I just needed something to keep the cabana door closed when the trailer is in transit, so for this I used a gate latch. I attached one piece directly into the trailer using the same wood to metal screws, the second piece into the cabana door top using the screws that came with the product. It's not included in this video, but I did end up adding a second gate latch. So there is one on the left side of the cabana door and one on the right.
you ever feel like checking it out, I have my story posted on my blog of how I got into woodworking. But I started with making wood signs and selling them on Etsy. So the Hive logo on this is just a painted on stencil cut with my Cricut machine. And I also made acrylic signage using my Glowforge. If you're ever thinking about a Glowforge, I have a link in my blog post that will help you get a discount on yours. I cannot thank you enough for following along with this series. I hope it has provided any kind of inspiration for your own build. I definitely want to see anything that you're working on. Please do find me on Instagram and stay tuned because I'm currently converting an old trailer into a mobile coffee shop.